Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to easily remove your writing and logos on your guns and accessories. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to show you how to remove logos, writing, things like that. It won't work on all firearms, but it'll work on a majority of firearms and accessories. So if you follow my channel, you know I uh, showed this firearm not long ago, and it was actually kind of by accident that I figured this out. Um, I was showing this product here called Aluminum Black. And what it is, it touches up areas uh, that is a aluminum, whether it be cast, milled, or whatever. Uh, cast works better uh, with this than some of the uh, uh, forged type stuff uh, or milled. But when I was touching up this firearm, I accidentally got uh, some in this logo, this Six Hour logo here, and it turned it black. And with that, I fixed it. I was able to go back in and, and get that off uh, with a little... Um, like a little scratch all point and went in and under a loop magnifying loop and was able to get it back out however what i learned was it turns things dark so right here and some of these farms they have some kind of tacky kind of writing or something like this and right here it said read manual before use i guess it's good to have that on there but at the end of that i didn't want it bright and sticking out with it saying that so i was able to darken that up so one of the complaints that a lot of these sites like this one and this one get is the fact that they have the big billboard on the side. So you can darken that. A lot of these, uh, if it's painted, it's not going to darken it. However, a lot of these sites and stuff, they're not painted. They actually uh, coat the whole thing, the black color, whatever process they use for that, anodizing or whatever. Then they go back in with a laser uh, engraver or etcher and they etch back out the and put the name in it, which will take the black back off of it down to the bare aluminum. So today I'm going to do a couple firearms for you as an example. Uh, again, aluminum black, Birchwood Casey is the what I'm using here. Shake it up a little bit. I just use Q-tips, pretty simple. Um, but these, uh, that's one of the biggest complaints is like these big billboards. It just kind of look, uh, it just looks ugly to me. So this one I know is etched. I've already done one. You'll just kind of have to keep working it, rubbing it back and forth and you'll start to see it get darker. And another thing you can do is kind of lay the firearm flat, pull it up and let it sit and we'll kind of work on this other one while this one is starting to turn dark it will not get it completely black but it'll it'll subdue it enough to where it looks pretty good now this one I'm not 100% sure it's etched it may be actually painted but let's uh, see what happens here now this one's etched it's starting to darken up a little bit Like I said, I don't mind the name on it. I just don't like it bright white sticking out. Uh, Primary Arms is another good example. They do the same thing. I've complained about that. Um, and uh, I think others have too because later, some of their optics, their um, writing was kind of subdued. So I'm not so sure they didn't kind of pay attention to some of the reviews that people were doing. And you can kind of get an idea. It's starting to darken up. If you want to wipe this down with some alcohol first, you can. Um, that kind of gets any oils or things like that off, so it penetrates in the metal, maybe a little easier. Um, but I'm just continuing to wipe it. And this, like I said, it won't make it just pit, you know, solid black, but it definitely will cause it to be more subdued where it's not so bright. And I know that uh, kind of aggravates people like it does me. And so, and I've, I've taken like Sharpie and done it and stuff like that. That stuff will rub off, especially if you do any type of cleaning uh, with solvents or anything and it gets on it. Uh, it'll take that magic marker right back off. And I'm going to go ahead and rub this in a little more on this one and agitate it a little more. 
This one's not darkening up quite as quick as the other one. We'll keep working on it here, kind of show you the results when it's all said and done. Just an FYI, these firearms have been safety checked and cleared prior to filming. Always make sure you're doing that before you start working on any of your firearms that they have been cleared and safety checked. We'll let that one sit a little longer. This one's coming along pretty well. You can see it darkening up pretty nice actually. Then you can dry it back off. You can use, I should have brought a paper towel down here, but I didn't. Um, trying to get a little bit of this filming done tonight. I'm sorry I hadn't done any video lately, guys. I've just been kind of tied up with work and family and life and all that good stuff. So trying to get back at it. I've got a list of videos I need to do. This was one of them. This was the quickest and easiest um, to show you guys. So I think you can start seeing I've already done one of these sites. I've had good luck out of these Pinties. I've done a review of these in the past. They uh, seem really good budget option. I've got them in my Amazon store. Uh, I'll also have this Aluma Black, aluminum black in my Amazon store. I'll put a link in the section below. You can go over there and check it out, buy you some. Um, and you don't have to buy Birchwood Casey. You might find something else. Uh, Birchwood Casey's been making products for firearms for decades. Uh, Seem to do a real good job. I always had pretty good luck with most of their products. So let's do this one. Let me get this out of the way. And if it starts getting, your Q-tip starts getting dirty like that, um, you can go in and get a fresh one and work on it some more. This one is not darkening it up quite as good as that other one, but it'll definitely be more subdued. It won't be as bright. See, if you look at the writing on this, that it's not real bright. Um, it's not subdued, but it's not... Always wash your hands with these chemicals after you get through using them. But I think you get the idea, guys. It uh, You can start uh, working on it some more um, and trying to get it as dark as you can. But this one, give you an example, now that it's, uh, let me get this Q-tip here. Kind of dry it all off. Wipe it. See, that's that looks a lot better. It's not near as um, bright and uh, standing out. So that looks good. This one's looking good over here. Put my lid back on before I spill it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back over that uh, area that uh, had that uh, read owner's manual. I saw something funny the other day. It was a meme. They all got to get a kick out of this. It said, so the, the new generation thinks they're smarter than the older generation. And they said, oh, really? Um, and it was talking about car owner's manuals. Talking about owner's manuals. And um, it said, the older owner, man owner manuals of cars used to teach you how to... Uh, um, like do timing or I forget what exactly adjust your uh, points or something and uh, it said the owner's manuals of today tell you not to drink the liquid out of the battery so who's the smarter generation I guess right <laughs> my son's down here helping me say hello son hi guys so what do you think you like it yeah does that look better I think it looks really good. Yeah, it almost kind of matches this in a way a little bit. Uh, this was actually a little darker than this now, but it's kind of got a muted gray kind of look to it is what it's kind of got, uh, so it's not so bright. Uh, my son was asking, hey, why do you want to do that? But uh, when we were starting the video, he said, why do you want to do that? But don't you think that looks better than that bright white? Yeah. Yeah, so especially on the tactical style guns, I just uh, think it looks better that... Uh, 
now looks pretty good. But anyway, guys, if you want to darken up some of these logos on some of your sites or some of this uh, writing that you don't really like uh, on the side of your firearms, I know some of the Rock Islands and, and things like that. Now, the steel, if it's steel, you're going to have to use something else. You're going to have to use like a bluing agent or something like that to darken that. If it is a, an aluminum type alloy material, then this aluminum black should work. But if not, you can go in possibly like with some bluing agent. Um, you know, if it's a high-end gun, don't do it, guys. I mean, these are cheap sites. You know, a cheap little uh, six-hour 1911-22. Not overly expensive or anything, so I'm not too worried about it uh, either way. But uh, I just like it better with the more uh, muted uh, look than the bright white. But anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. If you got any questions, post that below. Post that below. Uh, if you've got another product that you've used or another method, be sure to uh, chime in and tell us about that. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.